This is tutorial number five, which is actually an alternative to what we did in number four. Like I said, uh, I will be using Adobe Dreamweaver because it's both a good um, code editing environment and also a good environment for uploading and managing a website. But just in case you're not using Dreamweaver and you would like to use just a regular um, free, there's plenty of free uh, FTP clients, I will be demonstrating with FileZilla, which in my opinion is out of, you know, that class, the uh, free FTP um, client software uh, is the best one out there, available for both Mac and Windows. So the first thing I've prepared is the little notepad that I wrote with the name of the folder. I won't even need that. All I will need is the name of the FTP user. And here's the hint to the password. And to remember that FTP always uses port 21. So I will launch FileZilla. Sometimes it gives you, you know, a, a message about updating it and so on. Right now I'm ignoring. Uh, right here on the host, I will put my domain. I will say this again, depending on your host, uh, on your hosting company, um, GoDaddy or whatever, and on the hosting configuration, some people find that they need to put um, FTP dot before their domain. I don't. Uh, and some people find that it works only if you put the IP address. You can always find your IP address by visiting your cPanel. It's always on the right side um, of your cPanel. It tells you what your um, IP address is. But use whatever worked for you in uh, the other web development classes. Uh, the username is exactly what I wrote down, which is quiz app at .com. Let me make sure I spelled it right. The password is what I gave it when I created this FTP user and it's port 21, which is the standard port for FTP. I click quick connect and sometimes this freaks out people. Sometimes it talks about an unknown certificate. I will just click OK and it will proceed to connect. And what I should see is in the remote side in, is basically here's the folder that I created using the file manager uh, in the cPanel. This is the folder quiz app. The only thing I uploaded it to, to it so far is config.php. The other two files are automatically generated. And that means that if I want to upload more stuff or if I want to up, if I change something about the config, I can find it here and upload it again. Let me do actually just that. I will go up, up, find web development for this is my local computer, uh, web development for here's the folder quiz app. Actually, this is going to be the most preferred uh, configuration from now on. My local file is on one side of the, you know, one column and my remote is on another and I can start dragging things in. For instance, if I want to upload a new config, just, you know, theoretically, because I changed something instead of the old config, uh, either drag it in or right click on it and upload, which I actually recommend because if you drag, sometimes you might drag to the wrong place, make it nested in the wrong folder. Just upload. It'll ask me again about this certificate thing. I can tell it just simply to always trust the certificate. The next thing it'll ask me, it'll say, oh, but you already have a, a a file called config on your remote. What would you like to do with it? Override it, resume, skip. In this case, I'd like to override it because there's a reason why I'm uploading a new one instead of the old one. And that's it. Using the same technique, I can you know upload this uh, notepad file if I wanted to and other things that we're going to put there uh, in the next tutorial, such as the index and the jQuery uh, and the front end and the back end. Uh, from this point on, by the way, if I quit FileZilla and let's say go back to it tomorrow, what FileZilla should remember 
again I don't need to uh, uh, update FileZilla uh, right now it doesn't remember the last host and username and so on but it does remember here right next to quick connect my last few connections that were successful so this is like a shortcut like uh, bookmarks I can simply use that and here I am exactly where I left off